Well, good morning. It is Monday, March 29th, and this is what we Christians call Holy Week. So I thought I'd just uh, take some time and give you a little historical perspective as to what was going on. So being Monday, it's the day after what we call Palm Sunday, the day that Jesus got on the back of the donkey and rode in to Jerusalem to the loud cries and singing of Hosanna to God in the highest, the people in Jerusalem, who were anticipating the arrival of their Messiah in fulfillment of prophecy. They were waving palm branches. They were laying their coats, if you will, their outer garments down for him to ride over. It was quite a scene. And keep in mind, on a normal day, Jerusalem had about 40,000 people who were there. Well, because the Jews were getting ready for Passover, there was probably six or seven times that many people in Jerusalem. So very chaotic, very loud, and got the attention every year of Rome because the Romans were paranoid that any time you got that many people together in one place at one time, an insurrection or, or an uprising may begin. So they were watching any kind of uh, uprising that may begin or any figure who might be drawing a whole lot of attention. Well, on Sunday, Jesus got their attention, that's for sure. Sunday night, he slept in Bethany with his disciples, uh, more than likely at the home of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. That's where they lived. Uh, that's where he raised Lazarus from the dead. So he was very popular there. A lot of people came to believe in him as the Messiah because of that act. So on Monday morning, he got up with his disciples to head into Jerusalem. And while walking in, he crossed the path of a fig tree that didn't have any figs on it. He cursed the fig tree. Very symbolic because the fig tree represented the nation of Israel at that time. On into Jerusalem and to the temple he went. Well, upon arriving at the temple, once again, he found money changers, people selling uh, animals for sacrifice, a very chaotic scene and, and a marketplace, if you will. He made a rope out of cords and overturned the money changers' tables, uh, ran the animals off, uh, ran the people off, uh, while saying, zeal for my father's house has consumed me. Again, another prophecy right out of the Bible. So here in 24 hours or less, he has already fulfilled two prophecies and created quite a chaotic scene. Once again, the Roman authorities and now the Jewish leaders are looking him, looking at him and saying, hey, who is this guy and what is he doing and what is his, uh, what is his goal here? So uh, after that, it looked like they went back to uh, Bethany to spend the night, which would be tonight, and we'll continue this tomorrow.